Content file pack01.vpk is corrupt. Verify integrity of game files. This is an error that Counter-Strike 2 gives you when you try to play on certain maps and in certain game modes. Please note that the path to the file is actually to Counter-Strike Go, not to Counter-Strike 2 directory. And this error used to plague Counter-Strike Go as well. Now it has been transferred to Counter-Strike 2 and it also occurs in Dota 2, all of which are original Valve titles. And the most frustrating part is that Valve servers do not know that your game has actually crashed. And that's why you left it. They think that you just left the match. And if it's a ranked match, that means that you will be in cooldown and will have to play other types of matches till you will be allowed to play ranked again. So basically, Valve punishes you for their game crushing. I find it ironic that if you actually follow the advice, that the error gives you and verify the integrity of local game files, this actually doesn't work. The verification stops at 0%. Same happens when downloading new content. Some actually say that you can fix this 0% issue by logging into a different Steam account on the same PC. If you search for this issue online, you will find the usual copy-pasted useless advice as re-download the game, verify game cache, run the game or Steam as administrator, which I strongly advise against. There are also some weird advice like disabling secure boot, which shouldn't be enabled in the first place, removing certain tools from other games, for example PUBG's AC Tool X Hunter, or unsubscribing from maps in Dota 2. Some of that may help, but the issue will return. You may try to delete the file, and launch the game with or without downloading the file again, it may work for a while, but it will still crash at some point. This .pack file error seems to have two main root causes. The first one is your storage is failing. That is the medium from which you are running the game. It could be a hard drive, an SSD drive, and in case of devices like Steam Deck, it could be eMMC memory or even a memory card at least on the cheaper version of the Steam Deck, and those cards are most prominent to failure. A thing that supports this theory is that you cease to have this error as soon as you move the game to another drive. That could be another physical device, for example a second hard drive, or it even could be another partition on the same physical drive. For some reason, people still keep dividing a single drive into C and D drives. C for system, D for games and everything else. This is a relic from the days of hard drives, where sometimes you could have a marginally better performance, that is operating system loading times, if you have your system in the beginning of the drive. Nowadays there is no practical use to do this anymore, since everyone is using SSDs, which are not mechanical drives. And no, putting your system on the C drive with everything else on the D drive does not make it easier to freshly reinstall Windows, since you're still keeping all the garbage. Anyway, the easiest way to test if your drive is failing is to launch the well-known free utility which is called Crystal Disk Info and see if the drive reports a bad status and there are too many errors. In this case, it's probably high time to replace the drive until you lose some important data that is stored in it. However, if your drive seems okay, the second and more common issue that causes this error is bad RAM. Your RAM modules may be just bad, broken, or poorly supported by your motherboard. You may counter that by saying, well, all other games work just fine. Well, go play other games then. It doesn't matter that all other games work fine, but if you want to play Counter-Strike 2 or Dota 2, you need to fix your RAM. In some cases, that may be rectified by just updating the BIOS of your computer motherboard. Very often, new versions of BIOS include fixes for RAM. Another option is to remove overclock by selecting a different XMP profile in the BIOS or by manually lowering the clock speed of your RAM. Currently, the most popular RAM is DDR4, which is gradually being replaced by DDR5. 
Of course, some still use DDR3, but I will not cover that garbage. The problem with many modern RAM modules is that they are overclocked to the max. So basically these are garbage chips that have been pushed to the limit. Will they sustain load at that limit is a different question. You can easily spot those garbage RAM chips, since usually they will have high clock rate with atrocious timings. Good RAM modules will have much better latency, that means lower timings, on the same clock rates. However, here comes another problem. This Intel Core i5 11400 processor requires 3200 megatransfers RAM. If you lower your RAM frequency even just slightly to 3000 megatransfers, you will lose about 15% of FPS in games. It's a bit ironic since when the first AMD Ryzen's processors came out, Intel fanboys were complaining that Ryzen processors require very highly clocked RAM to run at full potential and highly clocked RAM was very expensive back then. Now, almost six years later, Intel CPUs finally caught up and they also require a certain highly clocked RAM. Same goes for DDR5, certain processors will require, for example, 5800 megatransfers RAM to realize their full potential. So what you want to do is to first try running your overclocked RAM at stock speeds. Do not use the XMP profile, try using the RAM at, say, 2400 megatransfers as opposed to 3200 or whatever the XMP profile is. If that fixes the issue, you may want gradually increasing the clock and decreasing the timings until you reach the point where the clock speed is still high enough, but the game doesn't crash. For example, in this particular case, the sweet spot is 3133 megatransfers, which is just a tiny bit lower than the XMP profile of 3200 megatransfers. Another option is to replace your memory sticks. This will fix the issue if your RAM modules are defective or just not compatible with your motherboard. And this also gives you an excuse to get more RAM. For example, if you're still running 16 gigabytes or even 8 gigabytes, it's high time to switch to 32 gigabytes. Just don't add sticks, don't buy four sticks kit, get a two stick kit where each RAM module is 16 gigs. So you will get 32 gigs of RAM. Going back to this error, in each and every case that I have seen it, replacing the RAM modules, down clocking it, fixed this error in Counter Strike 2 and Dota 2. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.